All right, here we go. What is going on guys? How the hell are you? I'm Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the show. So we are out here today with my man Tyson. Tyson, got to clean his water. Something happened this week where the, the the drain, I guess, underneath here. Yo, check that out, by the way. That's a hot tub. Sickest thing ever. You, Amazon, bro. Right to your front door. Freaking hot tub. Look, it's got a filter on the back. Heater gets 104 degrees. TV right here. Whew. Sick. Anyways. Back to what we're doing. His cage needs to be cleaned. And I'm gonna put a little wall right here, just a little separation. I'm just gonna put a little two by four right here, along here, so that way he can't get the mulch into the pond. Come here. What are you being such a jerk for? Come here. Stop being an ass. He's being, he's mad at me right now, per usual. Don't be mad at me today, bro. Today, the whole point of this video, we're putting Latifa in here for you. So I'm gonna upgrade his cage real quick. A little bit. See how I have these heat lights on here? It's about to be summertime down here in South Florida. It doesn't need heat. So I'm gonna take those lights out. They haven't even been on for a while. He actually, he ran out of the cage earlier. Look, he got me pretty good. Right on my arm, still bleeding. His freaking claws are razor sharp. What are you, chilling out now? Come here. Come say hello. Why can't we be friends? Huh? One day. Relax, man. Whatever. Alright. I'm gonna go cut this piece of wood. Figure out this pawn situation. And then we're gonna go get his girlfriend from inside. And put him around here. Hopefully it goes well. I talked to a few people about it. Everybody says that I should be safe. Obviously I have to observe how they act with each other. But they should be good. Talked to Kevin uh, yesterday. Kevin McCurley from Nerd. He said that uh, they're still young. So they should be fine together. I was over at Tom Crutchfield's house yesterday. My buddy Tom. Tom said the same thing. I told him how big they are. Their ages. The sexes. Male. Female. Tom said the same thing. They should be fine together. So it's time for... Latifa to get a bigger cage because the cage that she's in inside is definitely nowhere near this big. This is perfect. And it'll also help with target feeding with the with these target feeding exercises that I'm doing. I've been getting some tips from Tom when I feed them because he's a psychopath. He goes crazy. I don't know if you've seen the, the feeding videos of him. When he feeds, he's a psycho. Look, now he's chilling out. Would you relax, man? I'm just trying to be your friend. But when I do feeding videos with him, he goes absolutely crazy. Whoa, I just got real black. Anyways, he gets real crazy, comes flying out of the cage, tries to eat whatever I'm feeding him, and that is not good. We do not want to be, essentially, I'm, I'm rewarding bad behavior. So he is being a jerk, coming out, being crazy, and then I'm giving him a piece of food, so it's kind of like reward. I'm like, oh, you're gonna be an asshole? Here's a treat, not how it works. So what I need to do is get him to come out of the cage, or even get him just to come to the side of the cage nicely, get him to chill out, show him the food, and then give him the food, so that way he takes it nicely. Same thing with Latifa. So, having them in the cage together, it's gonna be a little crazy, but hopefully I can get them to where I can target feed them and get one out of the cage at a time. Maybe set up something out here for them to maybe, like I'll build like a little platform, you know what I mean? I'll build like a feeding station, essentially, 
put a little table right here that can move in and out to the side. Get them to come out one by one. We're going to see. Obviously, it sounds easier, easier said than done, but we're going to try it out. So, let's get your cage fixed up and get your girlfriend in this cage. Boom. Alright, so, got these two pieces cut, but I'm just going to pretty much do I'm going to drill one down, put the other on top, make a little wall. Just like Trump. Alright, so let's actually I'm gonna sweep this area first. Hopefully he doesn't come flying out. Okay, you relax. Okay, get out of my way. Excuse me. You stay in your freaking cage, bro. Really? What are you trying to do? What are you gonna do? Don't try to, don't try to bite down there, bro. He's not necessarily trying to bite me. I was just making a joke. He probably wouldn't bite me. I just don't wanna, I wouldn't risk that chance of getting bit in the goods. You know what I mean? Would not be fun. See how, see how clogged that drain is. Normally that would be uh, drained out by now. But I guess it's a little, a little clogged up there. Oh man, and this is already bowed down, I guess, from the uh, the weight of the oh, the weight of the freaking thing. How am I gonna fix that? Ugh, that sucks. See what I just noticed? So, because of the weight of the pond, now there's a gap down here, which is. No bueno, because that defeats the whole purpose of putting it up. So I'm going to have to figure this out. Alright, so what I did is I went and grabbed my motorcycle jack. You be nice, little jerk. I'm just jacking up the bottom. Look at that. Woo! Oh, I just jacked up the whole freaking cage. Bring it down a little bit. What's nice about my water monitors is they only poop in their water, so it makes their cage super easy to clean. All you do is change out the water. It's the brilliant thing about these guys is most of the time they poop in the water. All right, let's release this uh, lift right here and see how that sits. Ah, oh, perfect. Look, the gap is minimal. Still a little bit of gap, but. That's not enough for those wood chips to go under. So it's perfect. Easy little fix. Took five minutes to do. Now let's get this pond situated a little better. All right, look at that. Got that thing nice and clean. Got that drain on the clogs. Good to go. I thought I was gonna have to replace that drain, but I don't. Just blasted the hose in there. Good to go. So I'm gonna fill this bad boy up. Situate this area a little bit mess and then we're gonna put Latif in here so almost all right you ready I'm a little scared not gonna lie I'm gonna do this without the gloves on before Tyson got outside I used the gloves obviously he still got me pretty good he didn't bite me Latifa <gasps> Sometimes she'll come out in the cage thinking that I'm gonna give her food. Come on. I didn't bother to wash my hands before. I was cleaning Tyson's cage and obviously there's dirty chick water. Get out of here, cats. Get, let me go lock. Let me go lock the cats up real fast. Gosh, you freaking. Fat little monsters. Gonna go lock them in the room. Cause you guys are gonna steal my lizard. You little murderers. Let me go put them away. And we're back. All right, so let's see. Let's keep up. Come on. Let's, uh, let's cooperate today. Come on, please. Please, can you cooperate? Please, come here, come here. I really don't want to get bit. 
I don't want scratches and stuff. I just want to take you out of the cage, bring you outside to your new boyfriend's cage. Come here, come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. All right? So look, come, come, stop. Oh my gosh, he's so crazy. Come here. Come on. Don't try to bite me or anything. Oh God. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Oh God, even worse. Look who's outside of his cage. Look who's outside there. Oh, Latifah, come here. Come here. Nails, man. Oh, ready? All right, Latifa. Look, I got you a new cage and everything. Relax. See, you're good, right? Chill. Let's go in here. Look, my new cage. This is a new cage. Wow, look at that. Crazy. Look how little she looks in here. <laughs> Crazy. Nice, see? Your boyfriend ain't in here right now. Cause he's being mean. All right, Tyson. Come here, jerk. Come here. Come on, come here. Come here. Oh, of course. He's gonna play hard to get. Come on, Tyson. Come here. Come here. Let me chase you out. Chase him out here, of course. Oh, God. How to tame your dragon. 101. Keep going. Come on, keep going. This is always fun. Alright, Tyson, come here. Come on. Listen, hey. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. So, hopefully this goes as planned. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Hey, Jesus Christ. Uh, go back this way. Go that way. Put my. I'm gonna put on the gloves. Cause I don't feel like getting laced up today. Cause he is. Oh, oh Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. 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 Relax. 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 Chill out. Chill out. Come on. Just freaking. Hey, just chill for me, please, please, relax, relax, dude. Uh, stop, stop, just chill. All right, well, obviously, he is not gonna chill. He's salivating, he does not like that camera either. All right, let's put you in with your girlfriend. Relax, relax, just chill, dude, chill. See, got a girlfriend in there. All right, so let's see how they interact with each other if they do. See, Latifa is still like, she's in a brand new environment. So she's freaking out a little bit. She's like, yo, what the hell is this? She wasn't even able to climb on the, obviously she wasn't able to climb on the walls of her last cage. So now she's got chicken wire. She can climb on the walls and on the ceiling like Tyson does. So she's gonna have a little bit of getting used to do. <sighs> But not bad. They're they're similar in size. The male is obviously a little bit larger than her, which is good. They're both super young. She hasn't started laying, she's way too small. So hopefully they get along fine. I won't have to worry about anything. You got a way bigger cage now. Hell yeah. I'm stoked. They are probably stoked. It looks cool having both the black dragons together, that's for sure. Relax, bro. God, you're crazy. Good. You know, job. Go in your pond. Just put new water in there for you. 
Yeah, there you go. I'll get this shot right here. Look at this. Look how cool this is. This is awesome. Look at that. Hey, bro. Man, they're so freaking cool. Like, how badass is that? All black water monitor. It's pretty awesome. These guys are going to get big. Can't wait till they get big. The next cage is going to be massive with a huge pond. Here you go. It's nice out here, right? Latifah's like, yo, where the heck am I, man? Time to pump you guys up. All right, well, I got a lot more things to do. I got to take care of the rhinos. I got to get back in that snake room. That snake room, I'm redoing the snake room right now. I don't think I've even shown anybody on here yet. I started it yesterday. Getting more vision cages. I got some from Tom Crutchfield yesterday. Drove down there, got some new cages from him. I ordered a couple brand new vision cages off the Vision website. Vision, what's up? Hook me up. I use your cages. I'll put the link down there. You guys can check Vision out. Sponsor me. Because uh, that'd be awesome. The vision cages are super expensive, brand new, but they're definitely worth it. They last forever. Some of those vision cages I've had for 15 years in there, and they're perfect. So, stoked about that. I gotta get back to work. Stay safe, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you just watch it all the time, yo, hit that subscribe button. Go hit that notification also, so that way you can keep, in, you can keep track of what I post, okay? So, peace out. Peace out. See y'all later.